Good afternoon. I'm Jo from Jo's Paradise of Colour. This is part three. I am going to be dyeing up 600 grams all up, but in this video will be 300 grams um, in a colourway for my March kit. Um, I have gone with shades of green, mustard, and some orchid red brown. So hopefully this one looks really pretty. The dyes are already um, done up to save time. It takes a long time to just mix the colours. I'm going to put them in. Alright, I've gone a fern, dame tree, mustard, and orchid, red orchid. In uh, um, landscape dyes. I will try do this as quick as possible because it's really really hot in the shed today. And I've already dyed up a couple lots today as well. I may add some sorbet as well. That's a really bright green. I like to paint with a paintbrush onto fiber. It is less stress on the fiber itself. It doesn't, it stops the chances of getting felted afterwards. All right, I'm going to do it in strips of color. So I'll probably go with the red orchid first. I ran out of my wombat, which is a really dark, deep brown, which I would normally use in this colourway. So I decided to change it to this one.
I'm going to wrap it up and put it in the steamer. Now. so hot. I am dripping with sweat. It is so hot in here. I might have to wait until it cools down this afternoon to do the rest. But at least I'll have at least this lot done for me to take photos and put on the end of this video for you in 40 minutes, probably about an hour it'll take until that can happen. So, I hope you're enjoying these um, dying videos. Sorry, I'm not like most of the uh, YouTubers that have a lot of energy and a lot of information to share and stuff I just I don't know um, I just use a half teaspoon use a half teaspoon of dye and I mix my water and vinegar up into a um, four litre bottle, a four litre bottle. Um, I put vinegar up to the crease at the bottom and then I fill it up with really hot water all the way to about the corner here um, and mix it up. That's my mix for all my dyes. Um, how strong or how weak I want them. If I want them really strong, I put them in these little containers. It's everyone, everything is one um, half teaspoon of powder to the water mix, water vinegar mix. Um, if I want it to last longer, I'll put it into these. Um, the dye lasts a, a, quite a while. Um, if I put them in there and don't come back for another week or two I just top it up with the vinegar water mix it up and it's good to go um, and I use an electric steamer for all my dye setting 40 minutes for blue and um, purple shades 
takes a little bit longer for them to set and 30 minutes for everything else. I let it sit for 15 minutes in the steamer before I take it out so it has a chance to cool down to room temperature and then I go and rinse it in um, a squirt of soap, soapy um, baby shampoo and warm water um, for if I'm dyeing yarn and then if I'm dyeing fibre I won't put the uh, uh, the soap in it because it felts it so if you don't want it to felt don't put soap in it um, then I chuck it into the spin dry and Get all, as much of the water out of the fiber as possible so it dries overnight put it on the line flat and I will show pictures of it on the line so you can so you know what I mean um, and yeah that's start to finish so I hope you enjoyed this one if you do enjoy these um, part videos more than all in one it's better um, please comment if you'd like more done like that and yeah thanks for watching give me a thumbs up if you like subscribe to my channel if you haven't and i'll see you in the next one bye for now